All right, I'm gonna show you how to build a fire, whether you're in the backyard or the backwoods. Here's all the pieces you need. You need some really highly flammable material, tinder. Then you need some bigger, highly flammable dry sticks. Dry is key here. Here's a little bit bigger. Here's a little bit bigger and then biggest. So now I'm obviously in the backyard. This is how you get it started. First, you're gonna have your pile of highly flammable tinder right at the bottom. Then you take really smaller sticks, tinder as well, pile them up. The idea here is there's the TP method, there's the log cabin method, all kinds of different methods. Bottom line is you need oxygen, a fire source, and you need stuff that's going to catch dry stuff really quickly. So, that's how you get the whole bundle started. Now, box of matches. Let's see if I can do this here. Got a really old box. There we go. A slight breeze blowing, but nothing too concerning. Sometimes helps blow a little oxygen into it. Feed the material into the flame. A little more oxygen, aka blowing. And there we go. Got a nice little fire going here with one match. to uh, keep breaking the pieces into smaller pieces. They seem to catch better. Here's the bigger chunk. I'm going to go ahead and break that down too. If I can. <laughs> okay, maybe I can't. Get that to catch. a little more oxygen in there. Don't be afraid of the flame. It's really not, I mean it's hot, but it's not going to hurt you at this point. You got to give the fire a little something to aspire to. Give it something to climb to. So it helps to go ahead and get that wood in there. You see it's jumping up to reach that wood. Jumping up to find the next flammable fuel source.
be careful when you're blowing on it, but you want just enough oxygen in there, but not blow out the flame. There's lots of other people teaching you how to build a fire on YouTube and blogs and everywhere else. Instagram, I'm sure. This is my method. One match. Pretty happy with that. Maybe I'll get around to showing you how to do it in the flint and steel at some point. Again, lots of people showing you how to do that, but my method, my video. You can see the little stuff burns fast, so you always have to make sure you got the bigger stuff there catching. A little more wind. More gently. See the flame in there. Unless you're using uh, lighter fluid, you can't just light it and walk away. You really have to tend it, kind of care for it. Be prepared to get smoke in your eyes. Just close them while you're blowing. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to feed in a little more small stuff. everything in life it's about persistence and patience
And again, you have to kind of wait and watch, make sure it's actually caught fire. It's a very fragile thing in the beginning. It's such a destructive force. It's so fragile in the beginning, which is crazy considering that, you know, a lit cigarette or a little spark somewhere can start a whole forest fire. Because you can see how hard it is to keep a fire going at times. Okay, I think we're good. That fire has caught and officially going. Still have to be gentle with it. You can still put it out. But now it's time to go ahead and add another log. Let me go grab that. Also helps to have wood that's already split, not just logs. I mean, logs and limbs will catch, but it helps when it's split like this. And you've got more surface, little nooks and crannies for the fire to catch to. beverage and enjoy this fire thanks for watching please subscribe thanks till next time